I'm actually a student of his when it comes to crypto and crypto economics and investing in liquidity pools. What's up, Gavin? All so, right, man. Sorry brother, for the slight delay doing? getting you on here. <laughs> Dude, you, you, you know I'm not tripping, man. Yeah, I you appreciate know, it. You know I yeah, mean, there's just you. so much going on. Another <laughs> video premiere here, video premiere there. You know, it's like uh, I was telling the people, yes. I, I, I'm omnipresent. I'm everywhere at once. <laughs> it's crazy. Dude, you are. Sometimes I, like, reach out to you. I'm like, how the hell is Billy, like, actually answering my phone call right now? <laughs> <laughs> but uh but man i'm i'm grateful and i know your your uh your community yeah. is grateful that you are like that because you drop yes. you drop a lot of alpha thank you man appreciate it appreciate alpha, it so. i see matt's in the chat matt matt is asking me to pin something uh what do you want me to pin matt tell me what you want me to pin you said she says please pin matt's with us guys so if you weren't why am i talking about matt in the chat well uh we all work together uh matt's also a great friend of ours and um He's got something to pin here in the chat. So Matt, type it in again so I can pin it. And uh, by the way, we're gonna be doing a free webinar tomorrow and the link to that webinar is in both of our bios, Wealth Renegade and Forbidden Knowledge, okay? But Matt, whatever you want me to pin, just type it one more time so I can uh, do it again. Matt says, pin this. Okay, let me pin this, pin. <clears throat> okay, I got it pinned. I got you pinned, Matt. I should do it. Let's see. Some Sometimes you got to pin it twice. Let's see. It might be like right below when he... Pin comment. There it goes. Okay, here we go. I know sometimes you have to pin it twice for some weird reason before it sticks. Another one of those IG glitches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't see where, what Matt is. Okay, it says just pin this. Yeah, I don't know what... That's all I see. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. Um, wrong one. Pin. <laughs> what do you want me to pin, Matt? Just type it, <laughs> and I'll pin it. But anyway, Gavin, we were just together in yeah. Washington D.C. And uh, yes, we were. Yeah, yeah, we were. That was fun, man. That was fun because you know, like, it's trip. Like Washington's a trip. I was tri mm -hmm. like you want to talk about the matrix yeah. <laughs> washington dc is the, ma the real. epitome of the matrix man it was it was wild but we gotta we got to uh we did an interview with, with uh armstrong williams who's a pretty mm -hmm. pretty big player out there in uh in uh, washington and nice. it was awesome nice. it was awesome i was uh I i'm sure you enjoyed it too man we we both uh, were like, I'm used to some long videos. So like we were out there like 22 minutes yeah. for each interview. And I was I know, like, that was too quick. That ain't enough. Yeah. <laughs> you but, said you were just Listen, I want to tell you, man, from the bottom of my heart, thank you for uh, helping to make that connection to, to, you know, to have me come out there and meet you in D.C. and be on the Armstrong Williams Show, which is a show that's nationally syndicated. It airs on ABC and CBS nationally, mainstream. And a show aired uh, two days ago, and just another one, another episode aired today. Uh, so that's phenomenal. You know, uh, I didn't get to see the one today that aired. I think it aired around 5 p.m. Uh, this afternoon. I think that was a financial one. We, we were talking about China and um, and uh, getting those incredible questions <laughs> from from Armstrong. Uh, but I believe that did air today. So that's pretty cool, man. <laughs> yeah yeah that that was fun like it it was uh personally it was my first time like in a studio so it was really cool i know you've been in multiple studios but for me i was like oh wow this is a trip man just having uh having all this uh camera and makeup and all yeah. oh it was cool it was cool. yeah a lot but of fun it was a lot of fun. not enough time but definitely a lot, a lot of fun we had a great time answering a lot of questions yeah. uh so thank you shout out to armstrong williams uh, once again, he's on vacation right now. He's in Greece somewhere in the middle of the, uh, the uh, GNC. <laughs> but we thank you and uh, we, 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 uh, yeah. we, we appreciate the opportunity you gave us to give our forbidden knowledge and alternative currency knowledge on mainstream TV. So thank you, uh, Armstrong Williams. Yeah, I love it, man. I love it. Yeah, cool. And yes. shout out to Aaron. 
uh, who put it on as well, because Aaron, Aaron's a big follower of yours mm -hmm. and a student of ours. So uh, Aaron's yeah, a man. cool cat. Super yeah, thank fun. you, Aaron. Super fun. And Aaron, he responds yeah. to text messages. He's pretty, uh, he's quick, pretty quick on the text, man. So uh, I appreciate you. Thank you for responding to all my questions so quickly and, uh, and being so straight to the point. And of course, helping out with everything that you, you're helping out with. So shout out to Aaron. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Aaron. Yeah, man. So we got a we got something going on tomorrow that I think is going to be mm -hmm. really, really fun. Um, everybody has got to show up to this one. I mean, this one's yeah. like really important because, you know, I get so many people like the, the last bull run meaning like the last time the crypto market went up um i had so many people that um they ended up signing up like after the um the market had gone up by so much right and that's like probably the worst time that you can sign up because you're like right at the top of the market but right now we're like right at the bottom and I really believe that this market mm -hmm. is turning around and we're going to talk a little bit about like why we think it's turning around. Uh, and I'll drop a little bit of that right now. Like we have two, three or four ETFs, Bitcoin ETFs that got, um, that got submitted last mm -hmm. between last week and this week. And one of them was BlackRock, which was, is one of the biggest asset yeah. managers in the world. The other one was Fidelity. Um, and it was wild. When I heard that after seeing like these lawsuits filed on Coinbase mm -hmm. and Binance, I was sitting there going like, oh my gosh, this is really market manipulation. And these guys really want to get yep. into the crypto market. And, and, and what they're doing, in my opinion, is they're trying to take as much of the competition right. out right now, because crypto really, and DeFi, which is what I teach, you know, this, mm. like, it's not going anywhere. In fact, the federal reserve, uh, chairman, uh, Jerome Powell this week says that there's a place here for crypto and that, uh, and stable coins mm -hmm. have a place um in in the economy and when i heard that i was like we got to talk to yeah. as many people as possible because eventually you know like i i like we didn't start this early last bull mm -hmm. run our business right but eventually we're probably going to cut off the amount of students we bring in because we don't want to hit that top again and then have people you know go through a bear yeah. market because it's painful and i've been through two now yeah. i've been through two and and there's just going to be a point where there's just enough money for everybody to go around with what we're doing and so it's really really important that you guys all do check out the link in in either mine or billy's bio to sign up because we're gonna really 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 crush it i believe probably over the next two or three years with crypto yeah. because it's going mainstream you know there's that old saying um you know first they ignore you then they laugh at you then they mm -hmm. fight you then they join oh, yeah. you right that's we're like in the transition mm -hmm. between the fight and the joining you now and dude this guys gals I'm telling you right now, you're going to be thinking back two or three years from now when Bitcoin and Ethereum are at yeah. massive all time highs. People are doing really, really well because the dollar really is not, it's not, it's going nowhere but down. It, the history of it yeah. is there. You know, the history is there. And so you really got to pay attention, get in. I'm really, mm -hmm. really excited right now. Yeah, no, really, it's, really it's going to be an amazing uh, webinar. So tomorrow, guys, we're going to drop some knowledge. We're gonna actually going to give give up some of the game to you for free tomorrow on the webinar. The link to the ARC, A-R-C webinar is in my bio. It's in Gavin's bio on Wealth Renegade. Go to our bios, sign up for the free 
state webinar. We're only taking a limited amount of people, so you need to register for that webinar ASAP, and we'll, you'll be able to be involved in this webinar. We're going to drop some games, some free knowledge tomorrow, and you're not going to want to miss this. All right, nobody else is talking about this. Nobody else is giving this information, and we're going to break some things down. We're going to go deep into what happened with Coinbase. What's happening with these other companies? Why have they been, uh, you know, sued and persecuted and everything else? Why? What's going on? We're going to teach you in depth what exactly is going on and how to circumvent that problem through our system, the system that Gavin spearheaded and that I'm actually a student of and doing very, very good at it. So uh, click the link in my bio, click the link in Gavin's bio at Wealth Renegade or Forbidden Knowledge, all right, and look for the ARC webinar. Register for that free webinar. You'll get a link to join us tomorrow evening as we go deep on this topic and give up some game to you that's going to change your life literally yeah yep yeah 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 so I'll, I'll give i'll give like a little bit of of knowledge right now just as a little sneak peek okay because you know we're going into like the summer the summers are usually really good for crypto except for last one uh because we had all sorts of things going on last year 2022 was uh definitely one for for the years and listen look we're gonna be transparent with you guys all right and like when i was on armstrong williams and you were there billy so you heard you heard this armstrong williams asked gavin have you lost any money in crypto and i said 100 percent." and i think he was a little surprised because i i was like yeah. look this is we i got in very early on i've been in the the leading mm -hmm. edge of the experiment when it comes to DeFi, and and so but i've also learned the lessons right and i think this is what makes our community mm -hmm. so much stronger and what's going to make this bull run so much bigger in terms of the people that have been paying attention or have the right people teaching them and and so in my opinion we have something really, really big happening right now with the Ethereum network. And Ethereum went from what's called proof of work, which is where they end up, um, instead of mining Bitcoin, so you have like an actual physical computer processing this really complex equation in order for you to get some Ethereum or some Bitcoin or some Litecoin to what's called proof of stake. So now, Instead, you just hold your crypto and by holding it, you validate the network and you earn Ethereum, right? And there's something called um, liquid, uh, liquid staking derivatives, all right? Where you can actually stake your Ethereum and earn be anywhere between like five and 12% per year on your Ethereum. Now that doesn't include like whatever price increase you have in ETH, uh, that's just mm. more in Ethereum, right? That's just more in Ethereum. So I really want everybody to be paying attention because again, if you pay attention right now, it could set you off. It could set you up for a lot of success in this market. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Liquid staking derivatives, liquid staking derivatives. So we're going to, we're calling it, it's, you know, a lot of people are calling it the LSD Fi summer. All right. And I really want to show you all, you know, some tricks. So usually Billy and I go into like the history and all this stuff and what's going on right now. We're just going to come out and we're going to show you. All right. We're going to show you exactly how we're doing it. All right. And if anything, you may just walk away and go, wow, I didn't even know that was possible. Right. I didn't even know. If, and if that's the case, great. But we've got a lot of really really cool stuff that we're going to show you it's not just you know the history or ongoing stuff that we got that's affecting the crypto market i think we're past that crypto is here to stay we have legislation in hong kong going on we have legislation in dubai we have legislation in europe um and now is the time to really capitalize on it so i'm i'm really excited about tomorrow so we can show everybody exactly yeah, how we're doing this. make sure you click the link in my bio or Gaben's bio at wealth renegade make sure you follow wealth renegade uh make sure you click that link under arc arc the arc 
webinar. I think it's the third one on my link tree. Click that link and register for the free webinar and get some of this free game tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, we're going to go in. It's going to be an amazing talk. And you're going to learn some things tomorrow if you pay attention. Knowledge ain't free. you got to pay attention. And that's going to be tomorrow. All right? <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. Yeah, that, that's definitely, definitely it. So, anyways, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna go into that. Um, but other than that, man, I don't I don't know uh, anything else. You well, you know, I mean, this, mind, this is a changing and shifting economy, and in order to stay on top of everything, you have to be ready to make pivots. All right, it's just like being an entrepreneur. Anytime you're investing or looking to invest or starting a business or running a company, it's all about pivoting and pivoting at the right time. We're showing you the pivot. And we're showing you the pivot at the right time so that you can capitalize on the opportunity. So just make sure you click, click that link in our bios on the ARC webinar, ARC, and register ASAP, limited space available. There's only so many people we can actually deal with and work with. But click that link, sign up right away, and we're going to see you guys tomorrow evening on the free webinar. And bring your thinking caps. Be ready to learn something. All right, tomorrow. Uh, and it's going to be a great opportunity. I'm glad we can share this opportunity with you guys. And we're going to share it through the Forbidden Knowledge Network. All right. Yeah, so hold on. I want to, I actually, I'm, I'm looking through some of the comments here. I actually want to, I want to kind of comment in here because I want to see, you know, what people are saying. So there's one individual, seems like they're a gold and silver bug, but they're like gold and silver you can hold, right? You can't hold crypto. And it's funny, like, listen, uh jw salmon that's true man and you can you can pick things that are decentralized gold and silver are if you actually store your own gold but the majority of gold is derivatives of gold right and the and the government or whoever can cancel you at any given point in time they did it back in the 1930s now you could hold your gold under you know your your mattress but it's not a very effective form of currency it's not a very effective form of currency. And so when you're talking about crypto, I can travel with billions of dollars in my hard wallet and have no problems and have value. And like one of the things that we're doing right now is we're tokenizing real estate. So you can have properties all over the world that are liquid that you can sell and you can tokenize and you can have them in your wallet and travel throughout the world earning your passive income from these real estate tokens all right from these real estate tokens and so when i hear like gold and all this stuff it's like look if the end of the world comes i'm holding on to gold i'm like no you ain't holding on to gold you're yeah. holding on let me, let me, let me, and water let me comment on that's what let me comment on, on that now and the follower <laughs> who put that look we respect you we love you but we're just trying to teach you a little something yeah. did you know that the president of the united states signed an executive order years ago this is about three presidents ago uh four maybe that uh and if they have to enlist or enact um uh what do you call it? military action against the united states in other words um we have to release the national guard in the u.s then they can also at the same time declare that they now own the rights to all of your gold and silver the only thing they can't touch is your platinum if you have platinum but who wants to run around with a bunch of platinum? It's very hard to sell platinum and move platinum, which is why they don't want it either. But they have the rights to act. And if you hoard the yeah. gold, in other words, you keep it stored and you don't give it up, then they can actually take you to prison and take it anyway. They will eminent domain your gold and your silver. It's actual, it's an actual written law. I want you to go look that up. One of the biggest commodities you can have during yeah. a time of uh, apocalyptic events is you know I would, I, would, I would rather have coffee than gold because coffee will let me barter and trade <laughs> coffee is the number one drink commodity in the world for drinking no more liquid commodities coffee is right yeah. behind oil so i'd rather stock coffee versus gold because i know with coffee i'm going to get i'll be able to negotiate for whatever i want just to give you a, a you know a little bit of insight into it yeah and 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 again like 
you ain't gonna run with like billions of dollars with gold through the airport line. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, it's it's just not it's not feasible. But look, I I actually own digital gold, which is cryptocurrencies that are backed by gold. Now some gold bugs don't like that either, right? They're like, you need to own your own gold and hold it like but again like what what's the real reason you're holding on to that gold in my opinion i think that that i'd rather hold bitcoin you know which is, is definitely coming in you have blackrock fidelity uh, uh charles schwab coming out with bitcoin etfs mm -hmm. they're they're out to buy bitcoin now crypto is here yeah. to stay they're out to buy bitcoin so it's it you know i would literally say um, you know, definitely look into this. And again, if you own gold, great. I'm not saying anything bad. I'm not saying anything bad about gold. I, I think it's mm -hmm. better than holding cash. That's for darn sure. W Salzman, J W Salzman. That's for darn sure. So like, I ain't going to be like, no, that's, that's a bad idea. No way. No way. You, you, if you feel like you've done enough research on it, man, by all means, that's badass. But I'm looking at some alternatives too, right? Like I've got real estate. I've got, I, I do have digital gold. I have crypto. I have some stocks. I have some options that I own. Like all of this should definitely be in your portfolio, not just crypto, right? right? Not just gold, because there are things, there are things out there that do have value that people are giving it value. And I'll tell you right now, Gold, gold is definitely one of them, but the dollar, the euro, the yen, all of these are losing value. And you know how they're losing value? To inflation. And that's something Billy has really been talking about. Like yeah. You talked about that with uh, yeah. Armstrong. I sure did. Right? Talked about inflation. We're, yeah. we're living in it. Yeah, I remember when my yeah. grandmother, this is my Nana. This is back in like 19, probably 83. Uh, she sent me to the store, the grocery store, the corner store to pick up a gallon of milk. And she said, you know, she was surprised at the price of the gallon of milk. She had given me, I think, a dollar and 25 cents, and I came back only with a few pennies or whatever. And she said, one day, a gallon of milk is going to cost four dollars. And I was like, four dollars, Nana? No. And sure enough, right now, a gallon of milk costs more than four dollars, more than four four dollars and so we have this situation where we have this um accruing inflation but we don't have an increase in the value of the dollar what, the, what it means is that the value the, the value of dollars is going down anyway that's what it really means but we don't have an increase in any type of income a significant increase in income to match the inflation so it keeps everybody in this impoverished yeah. state in this impoverished mindset that's a real problem and now with all the ai and these robots that are going to have AI in them coming to take away millions of jobs. But the people who lost those jobs, those millions of people, maybe even billions of people, their bills are still going to come due. So since their bills are still coming due with no job, what's going to happen? So we're, it's, a, it's a strange world coming right now. It's a strange new world. We have to find a way to navigate this new matrix. Yeah. 100%. And by the way, like, let's going back to your milk example, right? Not only is milk $4, but it's more mm. toxic than it used to be. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, so it's like, oh, you're gonna yeah. pay more for like toxic milk. You know, I, I, I don't drink yeah. any milk anymore. Because I'm just like, man, I, like, it'll it's turn poison. my stomach upside down. Yeah. It'll turn my stomach upside down. But yeah, I mean, it's it's not cheap. It's not cheap. And to get like the good milk, like the raw no. milk, you can't even get that anymore. I mean, it's and, and if you do, it's like 10 bucks a bottle, you know, for like two liters. If you want two liters, it's like 10 bucks. But but look, you know, and, and I don't know if you if you've been watching, there's a guy, man, Brian, uh, Brian something. Uh, he's doing like the blueprint. He's trying to like reverse his aging, but he uses like AI and all this stuff. And Here's the thing. It's like, if, if you have AI, we can either use it for good or for mm -hmm. bad, right? That's you right. Can use it for good or for bad. Like right now, I, I use AI every day to like mm -hmm. actually research cryptos. Maybe I'll, let me know, let me know in the comment if you guys are interested in, in 
having me show you a little bit about how I use AI for crypto. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll do that a little bit tomorrow, mm -hmm. but you can use it for good or for bad. And I think it's like our conscious collectiveness. Like, are we going to, are we all going to get pissed off at each other? And like, he, this, they wronged me. He, he doesn't think like me. She doesn't think like me. Which, are we going to be like, Hey, we all got a lot of things in common. We're unique in our own way, but let's really mm -hmm. train this thing to help us get into like, uh, into a, uh, a renaissance. Yeah. You, you taught, you told me that, right? You said, that's right. we're going to come into a renaissance. And yeah. I think that that's really mm -hmm. the case. I think that's really, really the case. And everybody's yeah. saying yes. So I'll, I'll talk about, I'll, I'll bring a little bit of heat. I'll do one research for everybody using AI. Yeah. So you guys can see be good. how easy yeah. it is. Um, and, and yeah, and use it for your advantage, right? Like, don't sit there and be like, Oh, I'm not, I'm going to be out of a job. Like I used to be in the law. I did some research in regards to some laws the other day that I would have had to pay this particular type of lawyer $500 per hour. And I got the answers within 10 minutes Listen, that's great. for free. And, and for the reason free. why I told you that it's going to lead us into a, a renaissance is because I do believe that we're going to solve these grand problems that we have. I believe that people inherently get fed up with being taken advantage of. And at some point, enough people are going to get pissed off that they're going to say, look, we're not going to continue to play this game of paying all these, these bills and interest, and you've taken our jobs away. So we're not going to play the game anymore. And at that point, I do believe that uh, there'll be this um, uh, mass paradigm shift. And the use of this technology will become, will come for the good. Anything that it exists can be used for good or evil. Like I was saying the other day, you know, you can be standing, a person could be sitting inside of a car and a person could be standing next to that car with a gun. The person with the gun can use that gun to save somebody that's being robbed or being attacked and use that gun to save a life. The person in the car can decide to run over a crowd of people randomly walking down the sidewalk and kill as many as they can, you see? So even a weapon, can be used for good or, or, or for evil. It's up to the conscious intent yeah. behind the person's mind on how it's used. And so, yes, you're right. Utilizing these things for the benefit of humanity, just like they gave us social media. They thought it was gonna turn the whole world into a doggone uh, zombie situation, right? But look what, what's happened. We thought leaders found a way to infiltrate from the inside and start using all this social media, including the one we're on right now, for the power of good and enlightenment and wisdom and understanding and to help rescue people from the matrix, which yeah. is what we're doing right now. And so it's this process of, yeah. it looks like it's getting really bad, but then boom, we have this explosion where we turn it all the way around and we utilize this stuff for our own benefit. 100%. And you know, like I was watching another influencer the other day, his name's Alex Becker. And he can get a little out there sometimes, but guys, gals, we got to look at it this way. Like, and Billy, you tell me, you tell me if you think that this is right. Like we're probably living in some of the best times mm -hmm. in history. It's just a yep. lot of things are being exposed, right? Like, I don't, I don't know if anybody's ever heard of Osho, but there's, there's this guy named Osho from back in the day. I, he's one of my favorite, favorite mm -hmm. people to watch. He's dead now, but he goes, you know, there's he, one woman asks like, Osho, like he's, he's like a, a guru, right? She goes, why do I feel anxiety after I've like started following you and, and started, you, you started teaching me and all this stuff. And he goes, look, for many years, your mind was like mm. a house that had no lights in it, but there were spiders and snakes and dirt and scary things inside of this house. I merely turned the light on, but it was up to you to really clean, clean it up, right? And I, and I think that that's what happened with social media, right? Like we, we woke up and we're like, oh my gosh, things are so bad. But like, look, you ain't getting dragged to Vietnam. People ain't showing up at your door, knocking on mm -hmm. your door going, hey, we're going to war. Right. I was just with an Italian gentleman today. He's 49 years old. He goes, yeah, I had to go to the military, whether I liked it or not for one mm. year, but now they yep. don't have to do that. 
right? But there's a lot of things that are being exposed that were there before. But here's, here, here, here's the bottom line. And this, this influencer said this specifically. And, and Billy, you tell me what you think about this. He goes, right now, forget about all that because you attracted it to yourself. Oh my gosh, what's going on in Ukraine and Russia and all, and, and, and Joe Biden and, and Donald Trump and uh, uh, you're creating this bubble of negativity as opposed to like, man, I'm really living in the best nope. times. Is it perfect? No way. But is it way better than 40, 50 years ago? Yeah. Come on. Listen. Come on. You can't say that it's not. Listen, say that it's not. just 60 or 70 years ago, I wouldn't be able to just walk into any restaurant that I wanted to, being a, a man of color, and sit at the front counter and say, serve me a cup of coffee. I wouldn't be able to walk up to any water fountain that I wanted to walk up to or use any bathroom in the airport that I wanted to use. Maybe it couldn't even probably get on the damn plane. So a lot of things have changed uh, over time for the better. And like you were talking, we're not living in a time where there's a bubonic plague, which almost wiped out mankind. We're not living in a time where there's a black plague, which almost eliminated all life on Earth, right? We're not living in a time where we have the papal inquisitions, where under the order of the popes, over 80 million people were slaughtered around this planet to bring, quote unquote, religion to certain continents and regions. We're not living in a time where uh, the, uh, you know, the 111 million indigenous peoples of the Americas are being slaughtered, which happened over the course of 70 years during the uh, conquest of the Americas and all. You know, so there's a lot of stuff that have gone on. I can walk and go out my door right now and I can even go to the worst neighborhood in my state and I still won't see 10, 15 million people being slaughtered right in front of my own eyes at that exact moment, which is what happened back then. People just dropping dead all over the rotten bodies in the street from disease. You don't see that right now. Now, are there places in the world, in these third world countries, where people are struggling and suffering? Yes, 1,000%. Overall, out of the 8 billion people, there's still a lot of people that don't have fresh water and electricity and things like that. But when you take what's happening now and the amount of the population that we have and go back in time and take a look at what was going on back then and compare the two, like, this is at absolutely the best time to be alive if you were born in this time frame right now versus the past you hit the genetic lottery you just be happy count your wishes bless your lottery. wishes bless your life that you're here at this exact moment in time and not you know in the 1800s 1700s 1600s just be so thankful that you made it here that you're here at this moment in time 100%. Now, does that mean like we're going to close our eyes and like, oh, no, I'm going to drink the bad water. I'm going to eat the bad food. No, no. But guys, gals, like, come on, all your feeds, all of your feeds are like, don't drink this water. Don't eat this food. Like, why keep complaining about it? Just do something about it. Right? Like, just do it. Just change. Right? That's, that's where the real, the real stuff happens. The synchronicities start to happen. When you change and you stop thinking about all the negative things, that's what they, that's what this is all about. It's about separation because they get attention from it, right? We live in this attention economy. Don't give it attention. It won't exist. It won't even pop up on your feeds and your algorithm. Like there's times where I'll go, I'll just start selecting like Billy Carson stuff, Joe Dispenza stuff, meditation stuff, all on my feeds. And guess what starts coming to my feeds? The meditation yeah. stuff, the angel stuff, yeah. the, the mindset stuff. That's where it's at. Like, like, again, that's where the AI comes in. Like you can do, you can have AI work for good or you can have AI work for bad. If I'm just like war and the end of the world and everybody's out to try to kill me and COVID, more of it yep. is gonna come. It's the law of attraction. A lot mm -hmm. of you already know that. Or I can select the things that I really enjoy, the positive things that make me really feel fruitful in my soul. And that is, that, that's gonna keep coming. It works reverse. You can go full negative or you can go full 
positive. And if you're feeling that, I want to, I want to feel, are you grateful to be alive during this most exciting time? Write it in the chat. Like, let's feel it. I want to feel it. I want to see it in there. But I, I'm telling you, I, yeah. you got to be grateful, man. I'm and grateful. I see some people, I, not some people, I see one person in the chat. I just want to make an example. This one person is going back and complaining about what happened during times of slavery, you know, and, and what happened to his ancestors. I mean, come on. At, at some point, <laughs> at some point we got to grow up is it something that we that we never going to forget about of course not it's in our epigenetic memories but at the same time it's time to live man it's time to stop living stop believing all this divide and conquer stuff it's time to work, work together and come together and build a new future on this planet it's time this is what some people say you know uh, some people get mad because you know they, they they contact me and you you got different people different colored people on your shows well yeah I'm not a black supremacist. I'm not a white supremacist. I'm not an Asian supremacist. I'm not an indigenous supremacist. I don't believe in supremacy of any kind. I'm going to make that clear right now. Yeah. That's why I am forbidden knowledge. Yeah. And that's why I have a worldwide audience. My audience isn't only one color. Yeah. My audience is worldwide. Like, literally, my audience is world. I can go in, I go to all over the world nonstop. I travel this planet. I'm in the middle of the bush, in the middle of nowhere. People know who I am, and they respect me because I respect them. Because I understand the power of unconditional yeah. love. I understand, yeah. understand the power of gratitude. I understand the power of building a future and not falling for divide and conquer tactics. My, my yeah. reach is universal. My reach is not, I don't even, I'm not even yeah. a xenophobe. I don't, I'm not afraid of aliens or nothing. See, and so when you take on the mindset yeah. of this yeah. is a teaching moment here, I'm sorry, I got to pause. But when you take on the mindset of victimhood nonstop, then victimhood and being a victim becomes your God. And then you worship the victim God. 100%. And when you begin to worship that victim God, your life sucks and everything you do sucks. And your emotional system and your cortisol 100%. release and everything else and all your oxytocin levels and hormone levels are all off. Your thyroid is all off. Your anger is always up. You're ready to snap at anybody at a moment's notice. You can't control your emotions. You can't control your outbursts. You're just destructive. And everything around you crumbles nonstop. You can't seem to gain, gain any ground and build anything stable. And so you continue to use the blame game nonstop. This is 2023. Yeah. Earth is a reality show. We're in, we're in episode 2023 now. Okay? In, in, in any show you yeah. watch, as the season goes on, the show evolves and changes. It's time to evolve and it's time to change. And I'm telling you this with love. love. Stop the black power. Stop the white power. Stop the Asian power. Stop the indigenous power. Stop all these powers. And just learn to love, love man. Just learn to be and learn. And we're here to teach. Be, be here to be a student. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. And when the teacher is ready, the master yeah. will appear. Don't forget that. Don't get lost up in all this yes. power stuff. Yes. Because then you become exactly what you've been exactly. running from. Exactly. Exactly. I see. I, there's one person that I want to call out. Vicky Li, Liu. She just keeps. She 100%. Fire, fire, fire. I feel your energy, Vicky. Thank you. Thank you. I feel it. And there's so many of you, man. There's so many of you on here. Just let's go. See, the majority of you are there. You know, the majority of us are, are consciously creating this yes. new reality, this new renaissance. And guys, gals, I'm excited to do it with you all. Like, this is fun. This is fun. That's right. It's, we're co-creating. We're co-creating. We, and, and this, just like Billy said, we're going to be in a renaissance. It's going to be fun. Tell yourself that. Believe it. Feel it. And watch the synchronicity start to happen. Even if the world is burning around you, That's right. things will start to come around. And that, that I've always, always gone by that, especially since 2018, since I really like changed my mindset. And mm. it's, it's time, guys. Yeah, man. It's time. So, all right. So, we got the link in the description. You guys know where we're at. It's not just about money. I always tell people in regards to the arc, my company, like, you'll come for the gains, but you'll stay for the revolution. Yeah. And there is some really, really, really cool stuff coming up with this new technology that's decentralized. 
you're going to be a little bit more free. You're going to be a little bit more in control of your finances. It doesn't come without a little bit of pain and a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. But once you do get in, you'll never want to go back to the old stuff. You'll never want to go back to the old stuff. So click the link in Billy's or my bio. Sign up. It's free. There is limited space. We're going to be probably scaling back in about a year or so on our students once we hit kind of like that max because I want to make sure that I really, really take care of those students that are there because there's only so much bandwidth and I want to enjoy my life. I don't want to be yeah. like bombarded with too much either. <laughs> so anyways, hey. lots of love. Everybody. Thanks everyone Bye. for signing on and spending some time with us this evening. We'll see you again very soon. All right. Peace.